Hello everyone, today we are walking from Princes Street to Stock Bridge. How are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there wherever you are. This is a another subscriber request video today um, because obviously Stockbridge is an area that a lot of you want to go to and you just want to know the simplest way to get there whether you're walking or bus or anything like that there's lots of different ways we're going to walk it obviously we're going to walk from Princess Street to Stockbridge should take about 15 minutes it's actually a fairly straightforward and easy journey so that's what we're going to do today and I will point out as well that things are busy again now look look at this on Princess Street it's Lots of people out shopping, life is back to normal. Well, not back to normal, but it's getting there. People are in restaurants, you can go into restaurants, you can sit down, you can have a meal. We're getting there. We are getting there. Um, and also a big uh, a big thank you to everyone who is supporting right now on Patreon. Um, it really means a lot. For those of you that don't know, you can support. Um, if you enjoy on Patreon, um, we give lots of extra videos on there. You can get up to three or four different things a month, depending on how you would like to support, if you want to support. You get a question video where you can ask questions every month. You get some sort of challenge video, possibly, depending on, again, depending on the level and where I will challenge myself to do something, and you can watch that. Um, there is a monthly vlog on there, or there is even a, a monthly Zoom chat where we'll all get together and just chat about lots of different things. You can ask me questions, or we can just chat about whatever you want. So, once again, for those of you supporting on Patreon, thank you very much. And if you are interested, there's a link in the description below. However, this is the route we're going. Frederick Street. Now, we have already went up. I've done a walk along Frederick Street before. So, there's no point in us repeating that. So, we're just going to essentially walk over and skip it. I'm not going to point out anything there. If you do want to watch that video and see this part of Frederick Street in more detail, I will leave a link in the corner and a link in the description as well, so you can go check that out at some point. But right now, this is where we're starting, on Princess Street, up and over Frederick Street. So, let's get started. Princess Street, Edinburgh Castle, Frederick Street. Let's go up and over. There we go. Okay, Prince Street, up and over Prince, up and over Frederick Street. We crossed over George Street. And we kind of crossed over Rose Street as well. Rose Street, George Street, Thistle Street. We're all on the way as we passed over. Uh, but Frederick Street to the end, of Frederick Street, and we're going to head down here. So this is Queen Street here, and you can see everything's getting back to normal. Traffic is now just busy now, essentially. But we are heading straight down. It's not difficult. We're going straight down the hill, people. We are heading down Queen Street Garden West, heading down the hill. Now, on either side of us is actually Queen Street Gardens. These are private gardens. I think they're private gardens for the residents of the houses there, and probably the houses on Queen Street as well, if there are. Yeah, 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 there's people that must live in there. It's mostly offices, but I'm sure some people do. In fact, you know, some people would say they live in their office more than they live in their house. Well, maybe not over the course of the last year, but you know what I mean? Okay, here we go. We're heading um, the corner. So this is where we're going now. See, we're heading, We're actually still just heading straight down. It's really, really easy, actually, to get from Princess Street to Stock Bridge, if that's where you want to go. Which I'm assuming that's where you want to go if you're watching this video, because, you know, it's going to help you get there. Otherwise, you're going in way the wrong direction where you want to go. So... Here we are, on the corner of Hull Street and Harriet Row. If I look back up here, that's the way we've just came again, okay? So, Queen Street, uh, Queen Street Gardens West, and now we're just, again, heading straight down. So, let's see what we can see as we journey down. There's more of these big steps here, I do love them. I mean, they've been there for a long time, though. They must be solid. That must be like iron bars in there, surrounded by concrete. But this is the old buildings of, you know, the the 
essentially the owners, the, the, the lords and ladies, although probably not lords and ladies, would be up here, and then the staff would be working down there. So the sta that's the staff entrance for the people that would essentially look after the people in these houses. A lot of these windows are blocked off. Now, see how those windows are like there? A lot of you are going to tell, you, tell me that that's all because of the window tax, and some of them will be. For those of you that don't know about the window tax, at one point, that's how they decided to tax people. The more windows you had, the higher your tax. So people would block up their windows to bring their tax down. See, there's more over there as well. Quite a few of them, actually. See all that? Now, that's where we get the saying, daylight robbery. That's where that comes from, because they taxed for the daylight, essentially. Um, some of them, yes, some of them will be blocked up because of that, because people used to block the window and bring down the tax. However, some of them are actually just for aesthetic value, to balance off the house look, so it'd be window, there would have been a big gap before the next window, so they, so they, they put in false shapes of windows in some of them. However, I'm going to say going by the randomness of how those are blocked up and the randomness of how those are blocked up I would guess that those actually are because of the window tax and there's even more over there like, there's even more of them there so that seems a peculiar place for it to be aesthetic reasons that they would be blocked off so I think I think all the ones we've seen here are actually because of the window tax but there's definitely some there would be just to even off the building where the window is. I've not actually looked at what shops are on here. I've been talking about the window tax. So you've got a fishing tackle shop if you want to go fishing. A gallery. Homes and gardens where you can buy um, the homes and gardens. And, and the paint shed where you can buy paint for your shed. Where else would you buy paint for your shed apart from the paint shed? Uh, so you, the nice buildings here, you know, it's all nice here. It's actually so nice to be be out and about. It's busy. So nice to be so, see so many people out and about. Hairdressers. I mean, it's it, it, head down this way. You're going to find local businesses as well. So you know how much I love when you come and you support local businesses. So when you do come wandering, take a nip in if you see something you like. Restaurant doesn't look like it's quite open yet, but then it could be open at night time. I don't know whether it's not open yet. Doctor's surgery and a, and a little eco um, greengrocers there as well. That's good. See, I don't really, I don't really travel down this way, so this is nice for me to see as well. Is that a restaurant there? Yeah. Antique store. Look at this. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, we're still going down Hull Street, um, North uh, Northumberland Street. There, we're crossing on the right hand side. I should really cross over because the side that I'm on is mostly um, just houses and things so we'd really cross over and see what shops we've got. So we've got electrical goods, we've got a little supermarket, Sainsbury's local supermarket. See these are just your normal everyday shops now, you know, there's not like... Well every now and again, you know, don't you just love these bits down here? Don't you just love these little bits? Um, anyway, yeah, these are just local businesses, handbag shops, definitely head down this way, you never know what you're going to find. Okay, this is our first turning off now, I know you're probably going to want to go down there, because why wouldn't you, let me go in the middle of the road here, make sure I'm not getting run over, why wouldn't you want to come down here when you've got that right in front of you, isn't that beautiful, isn't that spectacular, but we're not going that way. We're not going that way, sorry. When you get to here, you want to go down this way. You're going down South East Circus Place. So let's take a wander down here. That's the first turn off we've done there, so it's not a complete straight road, but it, you're generally following this road the rest of the way now. I don't know how much we'll see though. I don't know. Look all these nice buildings, beautiful buildings, but I don't think there's much that I'm going to be able to spot out that's particularly unique. There's, it's particularly Edinburgh. It looks very Edinburgh. Cobbled stones, beautiful buildings, but I don't think there's going to be anything, apart from all the window tax stuff that we've seen, which is always very cool. That's actually probably 
the most of those I've seen in one area, because there was a lot of them there, you know, in each building there was a lot. That's, it's, it's quite interesting, I wonder if the people that lived there were particularly... Well, they all had a lot of windows, those buildings have a lot of windows, so I suppose they're like, I don't want to pay tax. Who does? If nothing else, if you're heading down this way, it is beautiful and peaceful. You can see how quickly I've got from the hustle and bustle and busyness to... Well, I can almost see Stockbridge, to be completely honest, it's not far away. Listen to the birds! Soon as I said it, soon as I said listen to the birds, they went shh. Someone's listening to our song, it's a secret bird song and people are not allowed to know and he's saying listen to the birds and he's recording so stop. Like I said, we're just heading down and I can almost see Stockbridge from here. So you can see it's really not far, it's a beautiful, beautiful little, I feel very calm. <laughs> we're going to head straight down this way but I'm going to nip over so we can see what shops are on the other side of the road. Look at this beautiful cobbled stonework. Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? Restaurants. Obviously they're hopefully opening. Most places are opening now. You can at least do outdoor seating in most, uh, every place now. So nice restaurant. Homeware. That looks nice. Toast. I like toast. Just look at these nice oh, pastries. I do like a pastry. I feel like we should come down here and add that into a video at some point. Local businesses, Royal Bank of Scotland. I mean, that's not a shop, that's a bank, but you know that already from the name. Look at that pharmacy, look at that chemist there. Is that not like the fanciest chemist you've ever seen? That's like properly apothecary style chemist. And this is us. This is us essentially hitting stock bridge now people so you can see that really 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 didn't oh look at that look at that writing on the window edinburgh mercantile the new curiosity shop homeware gifts practical goods beautiful objects luxury items i just want to go in there to see what they've got if that's not secretly an entrance to the wizarding world of harry potter i don't know what is totally getting distracted totally getting distracted anyway continuing on this is us hitting Stockbridge now. So you're here. You can see how easy that was. It was essentially a straight line. Look at these beautiful, beautiful places here. Take it away, Spud. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, look at that. Does that not look beautiful there, that little pub? Again, I'm still just going in a straight line. Apart from that one left turn. I am just following the road, Starbucks, because why not? And there we are, Stockbridge, that's us here. That's us here, people. That is how you very easily get from Princess Street to Stockbridge. I took my time there. I really took my time, because I was stopping, I was chatting to you. I did that in about 20 minutes. So if you're walking, you get here in 50 minutes. Easy at a normal pace. Just in case you're wondering, that space there that we've now hit, that's where they have the Stockbridge Market, right there. If you want to know, you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the corner in the description as well. And obviously we've taken a walk down Stockbridge as well, so it's quite easy for you to find. I've done a few videos there, so it's really easy for you to find them as well. That's the Waters of Leith, right there, passing by underneath us. And that is how you get from Princess Street to Stockbridge in one easy walkable journey. Nice simple video for you today guys, nice little easy walk down. I think that's probably a nice practical one for you as well. But I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, as always, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know if this is useful to you, if more stuff like this is useful, if walking routes from here to there are the kind of thing you want for when you're coming to visit. But, look after yourself. Until next time, bye humans.